Hi, this is Dr. Penn Gangsta, and I'm here to talk to you about your mental health. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually here to talk to you about your pen addiction. No, I'm not talking about that either because I probably have that, I probably have that problem probably just as bad as you do. If you didn't have that problem, you wouldn't be watching me, right? I'm gonna to talk to you about the Platinum Curitus. Curitus. Curitus, Curitas. Whichever, Curitus. And I have with me today, on loan from Penn Chalet, for me to review, is the Red Platinum Curitus. Curitas. Curitas. I don't know. I, I'm just going to pronounce it however. Curitas. Curitas. Here, this would be like, if this was a magazine, I, this would be it. Curitas. It smells red. And the Curitas is something different that Platinum has put out. They haven't done anything like this before. They're pretty popular for their 3776 Century pens. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. But this is something entirely different. Unlike the 3776 Centuries, the Curitas is actually a retractable fountain pen. It's kind of fun to click it, watch. You remember back when you used to use the ballpoint pen and you'd like to do this? I remember being like that. Well, the Curitas does something like that. You click it, out comes the nib, and it's ready to use. So there's no reason for you to have to unscrew a cap. It's just as simple as clicking on the pen. Or once it is clicked and the nib is out, it's actually not a bad sized pen. In fact, it fits in my hand rather well. It's very comfortable. Uh, the only thing that I might have an issue with is the location of the clip, but you know, even holding it like this, and I am gonna do a writing sample here in a little bit. I'm gonna fill it up and do all that. But holding it just like this, it's not so bad. So you unclick it and the nib goes away. When I'm looking inside of this, there's actually like a little cover that goes, that it opens to let the nib out, closes to conceal the nib, and I imagine that's what is keeping the nib from drying out. So let's try this out just for fun. Okay, that's some clickety-click action, lots of fun. It has a very interesting filling system as well. So when it's unclicked, it does unscrew. And so you put this to the side. And what you're left with is a small piston filler converter. And it's like, when I first opened it, I was like, okay, so yeah, it clicks, it moves. Now how do I get this thing out? And what it turns out that there's actually, you actually have to maneuver the converter in such a way where it goes around this little section right here and it comes right out and you're able to fill your pen. Simple, you just push it in just a little bit, pull it right out. And so there's your spring that helps it click and all that. And when it's pulled out like this, it looks like any other fountain pen nib housing and converter unit. And then once you're done filling that up, you just put it right back in the way it came out and then re put this back on and voila. I really like the way this pen looks. I like the clear demonstrator-like body. I like that you can see inside of the pen. You can see all the workings of it. You can see the converter. It actually is a lot of thought placed into this pen where there are parts of it where the converter and the housing unit for the nib meets and it's very um, cohesive because some of these parts are in silver and so you can see that beautiful metallic silver through the red. And even when you click on the pen itself, you can see it moving around. I think that's kind of cool. You know, it's, it's something different. We've got the ability to retract the nib, which is kind of cool. I think that this part right here, and I understand the purpose for it, it's a little strange the way it just kind of hangs out. In fact, uh, I'll admit that turned me off at first. The way that, you know, the way that it looks, 
it's it, it does look cool i just wish there was a way where it could look like that with the nib inside if there was some way to but there probably isn't i'm sure the people over at platinum mess with this over and over again the nib itself is a steel nib it's a tiny little steel nib and i'm not certain if this nib can be changed out or not so it comes in blue it comes in red it comes in graphite smoke it also comes in just a clear demonstrator it's called prism crystal and it finally it comes in urban green I suppose the urban green is just to carry around in the city. I imagine myself in the city with the urban green. The red is quite beautiful. I do like that. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool pen. I don't not like it. It will retail for $80 over at Pen Chalet. Now, according to the specifications, the total length of this pen is six inches. When it's posted, even though we know it can't post, but when it is clicked in like this, the size goes down to about five and a half inches. As far as weight is concerned, it's not a heavy pen. It's actually quite light. It has a nice weight to it, a nice balance. The diameter of the pen is about half an inch. So it's not like super big, but it's actually, it's not tiny either. It's, it feels very nice. Here she is, the Platinum Curatus. So let's go ahead and ink it up and take it for a little ride. So first of all, what happens is you unscrew it. Just gonna set that to the side here. And push in the converter unit just enough to get to this part here. Turn it and then it comes right out. And the spring obviously stays there as well. Today I'm going to ink the pen with Leonardo Black. And so this works just like any other converter unit. So let me put that in there and get this going. Now, the one thing to be careful, which I'm just noticing, is the little plastic piece. Or actually, no, they thought of that. It will not come off. It is in there. I was just noticing that and thinking, oh, if I don't hold on to that, it's gonna fall right into my ink. But nope, they thought of that too. And looking closer at this nib housing unit, it appears that the nib may be changeable because it has the same twist mechanism where you could take the unit apart. So I don't know if that's entirely possible, but it could be. Here we go with the Platinum Curidas, 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 Curidas. The way I write this clip bothers me. I would have to remove this. I don't think I can figure out how to do it.
No, I will give it. It does. The ink does keep up with the fine line very well. It does have a nice fine line. Not a whole lot of flexibility, which is okay. Gosh, reverse spray it's like itty bitty. So yeah, unfortunately that, this little thing right here uh, kind of rubs on my finger, my back finger a little bit, or my ring finger. But honestly, even with it rubbing on my finger, I still wouldn't consider this to be a deal breaker, especially since uh, knowing that the clip bothers my finger a little bit and that it's removable, I think that's that's a nice deal. And I, you know, even with the clip removed and this little piece right here, I think I could live with that. Or otherwise I get used to it or just reposition my hand I have to reposition my hand just away from that and then use it. Well, I rather enjoyed the way this pen writes, even for a fine nib, and I'm not usually one who reaches for a fine nib very often. It writes very smooth for a steel nib. I do like the weight and balance of the pen, there's only one thing that I do not like about the pen, and I know that the reason that this even exists is for, it appears to be for the little small piece that covers up the nib unit to keep it from drying out. So I do understand the purpose, but for the way I write with pens, it's this little piece right here. It hurts my finger. Now, Everybody writes differently, everybody holds a pen differently, so it might not bother you, but it does bother my hand. I guess the one thing that is good about this little knob right here is that it will prevent the pen. If you don't have the clip attached to your pen, it will keep your pen from rolling off of your tabletop. So that's nice. So maybe that's the purpose of it. But as far as writing comfort for me personally, it that that little bitty part is uncomfortable, so I would probably I would just have to live with it. According to Platinum, this pen, when not used, it should hold ink for six to eight months without drying out. That's kind of cool. I would like to put this to the test. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this review very helpful. And I hope that if you did find it very helpful and you're interested in buying this pen, that you'll go check out the Platinum Curitas over at penchalet.com. Thanks again for watching and take care.